Do you ever wonder why despite of trying different diets or weight loss plans or healthy tips, nothing seems to stick or working? What if I told you the secret of your lifelong health doesn't lie in any uh, restrictive diet or fancy diet, but in a simple and powerful dietary changes? And these changes not only going to make you physically fit, but also they will help to prevent your lifestyle disease or even reverse your lifestyle disease like uh, obesity or diabetes. And in today's video, I am going to share five simple and powerful dietary changes which are designed for those busy people, those corporate leaders who are above 40 and uh, who are ready to take charge of their good health. So stay with me till the end. After this video, you will be getting a different perspective related to your dietary habits. So hi, this is Sanjeev Kaliwala. I want to welcome you in one more power packed informative video of our channel. Without wasting time, let's do the video. <laughs> So in our daily life, we will come across many people who try hard to lose weight or fat and they will try different diets, different workout plans and different different healthy tips and even they will achieve their fitness goals also. But after some time, they will regain whatever they lost or sometimes they will uh, regain the double number what they lost, the fat or the weight. Do you ever wonder why it happens? It can happen due to many reasons. First, applying wrong approach of weight loss like falling in the trap of fancy or drastic calorie restrictive diets. Second, getting motivated by short uh, external factors. Third, not treating fitness as a part of their lifestyle. Like there's so many reasons are there but today we will speak about the five secrets by which by mastering which you can be a master of your health and uh, uh, you can live healthier fitter and fuller for a longer time but before sharing anything before moving further in this video i have a small assignment for everyone just scroll and uh, under this video you will find a subscribe button and a bell icon just hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future so let me share my blackboard let me share my presentation and let me share the five secrets these are the five secrets in that first one is Spoil your appetite. Confused? Let me explain with full information. So that this is nothing but approaching your plate in a different way where you will be starting your meal by protein first, fiber second, fats third and keeping your carbohydrates and simple sugars in last. So this is a simple approach but it brings a huge difference. How it works actually? When you eat proteins, fibers, and uh, fats first they will help to slow down the absorption of carbohydrates and uh, there will be no blood sugar spike and if there is no sugar spike in your blood obviously there will be no spike in, in your insulin and if you manage your insulin hormone properly you will be away from most of the weight related complications and coming to second point eating mindfully so to understand what is mindful eating, we need to understand what is mindless eating actually. So in mindless eating, you will be staring at your computer or uh, your mobile or your television or you will be chit chatting with your friends or you will be doing some other work along with your eating. Mind means you are doing a multitask. This is known as mindless eating. And in mindful eating, you will be doing completely opposite to all this. You will be keeping yourself away from all the distraction and you will be eating only food without doing any other task. So this thing helps to enjoy the food, to enjoy the taste, enjoy the texture, enjoy the aroma and uh, it will helps to improve your digestion and it will also help to manage your blood sugars again. So as I said in the previous point, if you manage your blood sugars, obviously everything will be at its place. And coming to the third uh, point it uh, looks simple and funny but it, it works actually that is avoiding shopping specifically your grocery or food shopping when you are hungry so why it is dangerous and how, how it uh, affects your health 
so when you are hungry you will be craving your your brain will be searching for some quick fixes and uh, in in that situation if you are in a store where you are surrounded with all junk food or unhealthy snacks obviously you will be picking up those to fulfill the cravings to stop the cravings so to avoid this you can have a small complete balanced meal before your shopping so that uh, you cannot uh, fall in that condition and coming to fourth point it it will also look small but it's very powerful secret that is eating in a small plates and how it works so research as per research it proved that when you eat in a small plate with small portion of foods you will be sending a signal to your brain to eat less and i guess you have observed this whenever we eat in a bigger larger plate or uh, whenever we fill the plate with the more food obviously we will be overfeeding ourselves so to avoid this thing you can practice this secret eat in a small plate and uh, take small portion of foods this will also help you to improve your mindful eating now the fifth the last secret of this video let me share that is only eat at your meals time so if you observe nowadays it's so trending in the market everyone is saying if you want to lose weight if you lose if you want to lose fat you have to eat frequently multiple meal meals like uh, six meals seven meals one big meal one snack wagera 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 and most of the people are in confusion whether they have to eat this many meals or they have to cut down their uh, meals so my question is what do you think about this have you ever wonder is uh, like frequent meals will work or one two meals will do so let me explain if you want to see fat loss or weight loss obviously you have to go in a calorie deficit as per a basic a calorie input should be less output should be more so this is a basic funda but if you are loading yourself with frequent meals then how can you be a calorie deficit like when you are giving time to your body to burn the calories so this snacking funda multiple meals funda i am not saying it's completely wrong but it completely depends upon person to person because all everyone has different different uh, kind of goals few people are having muscle building goal few people are having weight loss goal weight gain goal so as per their goal if the diet plan is tailored then it will be best instead of following a like a universal diet so here be away from your snacking unnecessary as snacking if you want to snack yourself always focus on a healthy snacking and always remember snacking is not a good friend because on the name of snacking people will load all empty calories or some junk junk kind of stuff so always tailor your diet as per your needs if you required multiple frequent meals then you can add the snacks or else just keep yourself away from any unhealthy snacking and dedicating a time and place where you eat can avoid your mindless eating and incorporating fasting in your lifestyle will act like a magic so always try to go for fast if you have like weight loss goals or if you are free from any kind of uh, health related issues or metabolic diseases you can always incorporate the fasting which can act like a weapon to achieve your fitness goals so this was all about in this video hope you found this uh, secrets unique and uh, interesting if you found this video informative please like the video and share with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future so this is sanju kaliwala signing off see you in the next video till the time stay healthy stay fit stay natural bye